Today we will be comparing H.P. Lovecraft's Call of Cthulhu and Donald Barthelm's The Balloon. H.P. Lovecraft was born in Providence, Rhode Island. His father died when he was young, and he was raised primarily by his mother, aunt, and his grandfather. His grandfather told him stories that got him interested in weird fiction, the genre in which Lovecraft usually writes. For a while, after his grandfather died, Lovecraft's family was very poor, and Lovecraft lived as a hermit. After his mother died, Lovecraft returned to Providence and wrote fiction until he died of cancer. Barthelm was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was married twice, served in the United States Army in Korea and Japan, wrote short stories for a living, and died of cancer as well. The theme addressed by these works is the fear and wonder of the unknown. In H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu, the narrator is drawn in by the wonder and abstractness of the land of Relay, but he finds he is very, very afraid of its inhabitant, Cthulhu. Uh, in Donald Barthelm's The Balloon, everyone is very curious about the balloon, but some people are very afraid of it, while others seem to love it. These works fit to postmodernism because they show fear, a common theme in postmodernism. They're also more graphic in their depiction of events than eras past. And they also show a bit of corruption or imperfections in government. Figurative language in postmodernism could be really anything, from suspense to alliteration to metaphor. However, the only figurative language in either of these works is really just suspense. Postmodern heroes, like the figurative language, could be really just about anything. Postmodern heroes could be true heroes who represent a list of societal morals, or they could be anti-heroes who don't represent those morals, or they could just be neutrally gray main characters. In these works, our heroes are rather neutrally gray, but not really showing morals as to being good or bad. Um, Lovecraft's hero is really just rather unlucky, as he did not intend to be in the situation he is. And Barthelm doesn't actually have a hero, he just shows instances during an event. Postmodern works usually see government as something not to be trusted. However, these works see government as neither good nor bad. In Lovecraft's Call of Cthulhu, the government is neither good nor bad, it's just of no use to the main character. In Barthelm's The Balloon, the government is also neither good nor bad, it's just whether or not certain people in the government trust the balloon. Society in postmodernism as usually seen as needs improving. However, in both of these works, society plays almost no role at all, or society itself is really just chaos, and the only thing that can truly be examined is small groups of people. In The Call of Cthulhu, the narrator almost never interacts with society, so no real views about society can be taken from this work. In Barthelm's The Balloon, society is largely seen as chaotic or contradicting, so Barthelm looks at small groups of individuals and how the individuals behave.
In both of these works, human nature is seen as curious and untrusting of the unknown. As both works show the curiosity of humans or humanity, and how much they distrust that which they don't know. The American dream in postmodernism is often to grow as a society and live well as an individual. Uh, in these works, the main goal of the character just seems to get along unbothered by other people. Postmodernism usually uses religion to criticize or attack society and government, but neither of these works really show religion all that much, except for H.P. Lovecraft, in which there is a cult which worships Cthulhu. Postmodernism usually sees nature as beautiful, like it used to be seen in Romanticism or Realism, or nature is seen as rather worthless by a sort of modernist or industrialist view. There's no real view of nature in the balloon because it simply talks about a city, but in H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu, Nature can be altered by omnipotent beings, such as when Cthulhu alters the dimensions of the land relay. These works are the result in a shift in fictional literature between modernism and postmodernism. The shift in literature is caused by fear from the Cold War and a rapid progression of technology. We see both fear and progression of technology in both of these stories, as The Call of Cthulhu involves supernatural and unexplained things that the narrator takes a scientific approach to, and in The Balloon we see fear from some citizens and wonder of the science and people thinking scientists are the cause of the balloon.